Digging the Peculiar is our multidisciplinary archaeology project based on the town of Southwell in Nottinghamshire. It's called Digging the Peculiar because Southwell was a minster town uh, owned by the Archbishops of York and was a, a distinctive ecclesiastical district called the Peculiar. So all of the parishes surrounding Southwell made up this unit of land called the Peculiar of Southwell and we are Digging the Peculiar. The aims of the project are to try and reconstruct the whole history and development of the town of Southwell and its surrounding landscape and surrounding villages from their earliest origins right through to the present day. Southwell is a really important historic town for this region. It's a uh, minster town, and the minster was one of the major churches of the Archdiocese of York. So it's always had an important focus for ecclesiastical and political history in this region. So Southwell fits into a story of the development of landscape and settlement in Britain. It has evidence for Roman period, Saxon period, medieval period. By telling this story, we're telling a wider story about how the landscape of Britain and towns and villages in Britain have developed through the centuries. The main focus of our archaeological activities is a test pitting project. This is where we dig small test pits, a metre square holes, all over the town, mainly in people's gardens. So obviously the community are essential to the success of the project. We need to persuade them to let us come into their gardens and dig our test pits. And the community are really interested to find out what's underneath the soil in their gardens and how that can contribute to the history of the town. To um, excavate um, layer by layer, we use spits that are 100 uh, mil thick uh, where there is no change in, in the archaeological stratigraphy. Uh, collecting um, all artefacts or cultural objects that we find within that test pit. We excavate down to natural, so that's layers that have not been disturbed uh, by, by people. Uh, we then uh, record uh, the stratigraphy uh, and backfill and we normally uh, done and dusted in a day. Test pitting is essential if you are trying to understand uh, the history of a living community. If a town is still occupied then obviously you can't open up large areas of excavation. If you want to understand the history of that town you've got to take this keyhole approach trying to open up small investigative test pits across as wide an area as possible and it's only by building up that sample of lots and lots hundreds of test pits in a particular community that you really get that picture. Uh, the geophysical methods uh, used I, I suspect are, are those that are familiar to, uh, to, to most people. We have um, uh, tended to use resistivity and uh, magnetometry since they are uh, the easiest uh, techniques to use uh, for those who are not versed in geophysical survey. Uh, well, the, the community are involved in a couple of ways. Uh, first, of course, uh, indirectly, uh, because it is only through the goodwill of the community itself that we get access to these private properties. Um, but we have been keen to involve the community more directly uh, and it's been delightful to have uh, members of, of the local archaeological group they've come out with us to, to excavate our test pits and I think that, that's, that's vitally important to make those kind of connections. But there's lots of other community archaeology projects going on across Nottinghamshire. There are very active community groups in many of Nottinghamshire's towns and villages and the university has uh, a project uh, called Writing Your History, Digging Your Past, which is supporting local community groups doing their own history and their own archaeology. So Southwell's part of that, and over time we would like to start making connections between those different local groups so that all of their results feed in together to a wider understanding of Nottinghamshire as a whole.
the University of Nottingham is involved with, the Nottingham University Samworth Academy. And we do everything that we can to kind of get the pupils from that school involved in the project. Um, before the excavation starts, we, we go into their school and do some, run something called the Skeleton Closet, just to introduce students, the pupils there, to uh, the different activities that we might do on an excavation. And then when the season starts, we bring them into the field and uh, actually do a set range of activities with them. We get the kids um, involved in, in digging test pits. We get them involved in doing some church survey and understanding the origins of the church that we work with. And then also we do some sort of finds, post-excavation activities with them back at the dig base. Well, as a result of Southwell, we've really um, realised how important community engagement can be. And so as a result, we've actually set up an experimental area on campus called Learning in the Past, where we, members of the public, again, pupils from NUSA can come onto campus and we can do activities with them there. And in fact, this weekend and every year from now on, at Mayfest, we'll be running activities up on campus. We're going to be continuing our work in Southwell for at least five years. We also intend to expand our work into some of the surrounding villages, and we've already started to do that by looking at villages like Normanton, Norrell and Loudoun. All of these villages are part of the peculiar of Southwell, and so we need to understand them in relationship to Southwell. <laughs> um, that's an extraordinarily difficult debate. Um, I am never happier, I don't think, than uh, 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 when I am uh, uh, on a project uh, in the summer. Um, about three weeks away from the office, uh, and actually producing new and significant primary data. Um, that kind of, just the excitement of discovery, you'd never quite know, particularly with a test pit either. I think the test pit is a bit like opening a birthday present. You never quite know what's uh, inside it. And uh, if you discover, as you often do with a test pit, that you're not really interested in what it provides, you know that you've got another one to open the next day. Um, it's the, it's the uh, fraternity, um, the, the, the communal uh, sense of a group of people working together for a common cause. Um, I can't recommend uh, digging enough at it. The best thing about the project is getting to bring students to Southwell and seeing them get to know the town and interact with the local community. The students really enjoy their time in Southwell and we can see them both learning new archaeological techniques but also sharing that with the wider community. And the community love meeting our students and working with them and they're fascinated by finding out what's buried underneath their gardens and, and some of the you know, amazing discoveries we've had in terms of objects um, underneath modern houses but obviously underneath the garden is much older remains and people are fascinated by that. So the opportunity of bringing the students and the community together has been really, really uh, welcome and really heartwarming.